Good morning, Mass Palm staff and students. Mr. Lon with your Tuesday C-Day announcements. We've got a lot going on today, so I'm coming in hot. Upcoming events on the 16th. That's a Thursday. We have our staff versus students. PBIS basketball game. Friday the 3rd is the 90% or better attendance dance. And students, as you know, our number one priority always a Mass Palm is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. How much do we love our counseling team of Miss Bacon, Miss Green, Dr. Hayward, and Mr. Usher? Yes, because this week, staff and students, make sure you say something to these individuals that do so much for all of us. It is National School Counseling Week. School counselors helping students dream big. Say thank you to our counselors today. Hey, counselors, thank you. Also, because your administrative team loves you all and appreciates you so much, you're going to have a little treat, just a little treat later in the week. Also, lots going on this week in the month of February. We are celebrating career and technical education month. It is CTE month. We have our CTE fair later this week. Shout out to all of us at Mass Bomb. We are all CTE educators and students at Mass Bomb. Reminder about the 90% attendance initiative, February's theme. We love that you're here. We love it that you're here. Okay. So that means we want you all to have 90% attendance, which works out to roughly two days or fewer absences on the month if you achieve that bar. Students, hey, guess what? We're going to invite you to a dance on March the 3rd. That's going to be nice, isn't it? Have food there, all that type of stuff. So February is Black History Month, and one of the different ways that we are recognizing Black History Month, staff and students, is with our door decorating competition. And I want to go through the slides right now, and I want to thank the counseling team, that amazing counseling team, Ms. Bacon, Ms. Green, Dr. Hayward, Mr. Usher, for facilitating the competition. First up, first up, classrooms. We have Mr. Marks in 604. Great. We have Miss Higgins in 616. By the way, the sixth floor really brought it strong. We have Miss Linscombe in 617. We have Miss Worthman in 607. Love it. Continuing on with the sixth floor. Love the, the energy from the sixth floor. We have Ms. Barlow in 609. We have Mr. Mingione in 615. Continuing, continuing. Chef Tim in 513. Mr. Marino in 408. Don't these all look great? We have Ms. Lomer in room 404. Mr. Blyweiss. In room 423. Continuing along. Miss McLaughlin in room 306. Right down on my whole sweet post. Coach Calamag, just a stone's throw away. Not even in room 308. We have Miss Friel in room 311. Miss Walker in 313. And finally, we have Mr. Hutchinson in room 225. Hey, teachers, classrooms, students, <laughs> love it. We're not done yet, though. We have more. We have the non-teaching rooms. So we have Miss Foster in room 414. We have Nurse Chris in room 208. We have 205, the main office, represented proudly by Ms. Ida, Dr. Riley, Ms. Berge, and me, Mr. Lon. We have 202, the counseling suite. And we have 223, uh, that's Ms. Yakey, 
and 427, Miss McPhillamy. All right. These are amazing. And alas, we have winners. Let's see who the winners are. The winner of the classroom door decorating, first and second place winners. First place, Coach Calamag and her students in room 308. Second place, Miss Barlow and her students in room 609. These are <laughs> tremendous, really just visually creative. I love them. The non teaching classrooms. We have first place, 202, the counseling suite. And 208, Nurse Chris. <laughs> Once again, great job by everyone. Love the amazing effort, the positive representation that is going on in our schools. And some students were bringing this up to me the other day. More to come, more to come, including something that we'll start working on. And I want to give a shout out to Michaela Tillman for raising the idea, a Black History Spirit Week to close February out. All right. Love the student voice. In terms of clubs today, we have our Gay Straight Alliance meeting today in Mr. King's room, 605. We have the Fiber Arts Club meeting today with Miss Benedetto and Miss Yakey in room 602. Rubik's Cube Club daily from 7 to 7.30 and Miss Walker 3.13. Reminder about bracelet sales, Chromebook repair, social media. Yes, the staff and students shout outs. Mr. Blyweiss on consecutive days coming strong with some great shout outs. Congratulations, Mr. Blyweiss says to 11th grade graphic design student Ian Church who plays second district wide. Second district wide. Hey, Ian. You know what? I'm applauding a lot in these morning announcements and for good reason. In the advertising art competition at last week's Skills USA regional meeting, Ian is our first graphic design student to place since the district CT communications cluster made Skills USA its career and technical student organization. I love that. Hey, Ian, great work. Mr. Blyweiss, great work by you. Great work all around. National Days. Today is National Fettuccine Alfredo Day. The Alfredo sauce, little heavy, little overrated. Just saying. You can lighten it up with maybe a nice white wine, a lemon, a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. Why it's, it's so heavy, if Fettuccine Alfredo. Hey, Chef Tim, Chef Allen, culinary, do you agree with me? Yes, you do. Thank you. There's an echo chamber here. Um, also national send a card to a friend day, you know, that's kind of antiquated national day, but I like it. Nevertheless, I like it. Nevertheless, will email suffice? Probably not. Send it in card version. Hey, miss mom, we're builders here. We're mass bomb. We build the future. Have a tremendous Tuesday.